Yes, I'm definitely crooked. Okay, guys. Hi, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so, ooh, have to hide that. I have a lot of really exciting things to show you. I just posted a video explaining why I haven't been posting lately, so I will post that in the description box below, but that's really easy to find, especially if you subscribe to my channel and turn on that bell notification, it will tell you when I post videos. I'm so excited to film this. I actually tried filming this twice, and I feel like I start off a lot of videos saying that I have already tried to film the, the video that I'm filming. I don't like filming with other people around me just because they always like, they talk to me, they ask me questions, they're like, you know, what are you doing? And I'll be like crocheting or something, they're like, are you making something? And I'm like, yeah, I'm making something, but I'm trying to like film while I do it. So I have to like mute the video and like put music on it or whatever. Anyway, <laughs> I have a yarn bee yarn haul to show you guys. And I have a lot of really cool yarn just to show you. So I don't usually get to work with Yarn Bee because it is a Hobby Lobby brand. And um, I don't have a Hobby Lobby near me. Actually, I just got, we just got a new one in, in White Lake, I believe. So I had a Hobby Lobby gift card for $50. So all of this was under $50, I'm going to show you. But a lot of it was also on sale for, I think, 30% off most of it was. So, and I'm also filming on my new camera today, if you can't tell. And I'm sorry, my hair is atrocious. I do not usually wear hats, and I'm sure you don't care what I look like. Let me show you what I got. So I actually already made... Where is it? Okay, this packaging here. Look how big this is. Like, this is a normal skein, like this little packaging. Look at how big this is. This was how big the yarn was around. I don't even know... I already made something with it. I'm gonna show you. I'll just show you what I made. It's a scarf, okay? This yarn here. Super soft, super chunky. This is the kind of stuff people use when they sell blankets for like super expensive. Like, you know, you find that like chunky blanket yarn and the blanket's like a hundred some odd dollars. That's because a skein, just one skein of this kind of yarn is twenty dollars. And that's like not even including like your time and all that. After after the fact you have to Calculate the time and materials and all that good stuff. So anyway, this is Yarn Bee, you know. Hashtag big, that's the like, I guess, what do you want to call it, the, um, the style of Yarn Bee. Um, this shade is called On the Dune, so it's like this really cool brown shade. And my first impression of this was it just looked like hair. When I started chaining with it, it looked like I was braiding someone's hair. So it was kind of creepy, but it was also... <laughs> really super soft. I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is um, four rows of double crochets just across and it made a perfect size scarf. And it actually, I decided to, you know those scarves with, I'll post a picture um, of, it, it like just goes around and then you put your, um, it has pockets on the bottom and then you slip your hands in the pockets, the end of the scarf. That's what this is. So my hand can fit in the um, basically what I did was I once I made this strip of double crochets I folded in the ends because you can kind of see I like I whip stitched it together and then I turned it inside out you know the old sewing technique so my hands like fit perfectly on both sides so this thing took me not that long to make at all um, I don't know I might actually keep this for myself because I go to school in the UP it snows it's cold and I might need it Okay, the next thing that I got is cotton yarn because you know, you know, my bikini tops I make and all that good stuff, which I'm actually kind of upset because now that summer is coming to a close, I want to start working on other things, like winter things. What we should be, well, I feel like what crocheters and knitters that sell their products, what they should be doing is making summer products in the winter and winter products in the summer because that's kind of how retail works, you know? They like get it ready and then they put it out in time. Um, just to give you more time, like you're ready to go with a season with a bulk of stuff. But I'm just not like, I'm trying to be like that, but I just can't be like that because it's like I don't, I'm not motivated to make bikinis in the winter, you know what I mean? In the winter time, I want to make scarves and hats and leg warmers and stay tuned for those because I'll be coming out with some of those. These are the cotton colors that I got. 
And this is called, I think it's just called I Love This, I Love This Cotton. Because there's also I Love This Yarn. And that is the just basic acrylic stuff that I'll show you. But I picked up three, three colors in this. Um, there's this blue tone. Um, in case you're curious, it's aqua. This one is just white. And then this one is rosy. Rosy 2 or something like that. So these are really cool colors. I might make bikinis out of this. Um, I might do something else with it. I'm not really sure. In my opinion, it's really soft. It was a good buy. These are $3.79 a skein. Like I said, this guy here, the hashtag big was 20 but I did get that on sale, I think, for like 30% off. So not too shabby. The next yarn that I got, I am... It's probably my favorite out of the bunch just because I've never seen anything like it before. Um, this is called Forever Style by Yarn Bee, and I got it in ivory and taupe. So there's like a brown and like a cream. And oh my gosh, guys, this stuff is so soft. I can't wait to... I actually already worked with it, putting together these like little mittens on the end of the scarf. I use the taupe just to kind of like hide it and sew it together because it's a similar color. Um, but these things, these are $4.99 a skein and they're not that big. So it just kind of tells you like they are on the more expensive side, but they're like super, they just feel like such good quality and I cannot wait to use this. Um, 219 yards, so that's quite a bit. And it says it's nylon. It says it's 100% nylon and I don't really know. It doesn't feel like nylon because it's not stretchy. I don't know if all nylon is supposed to be stretchy, but that's that's not that's not stretchy at all. These are probably I'm super excited to work with these. I don't know what I should make with them. I was going to make a washcloth cuz you know how there's like some soft washcloths, but I don't even know if this will be durable enough. So I could make mittens or gloves or whatever. Comment down below if you have an idea for me of what I should make with all this yarn. I got two of these Scrubology, um, it's basically like Red Heart Scrubby yarn, but it's the Yarn Bee version. Um, they call it Scrubology and it's cotton. And it's $4.49 a skein. Um, so pretty pricey. But I got it in the color Front Porch. So Front Porch, I know you can't see. I already actually used um, one of them, or at least I lost one of them, but I made washcloths with those instead of dish scrubbies, and I'm actually going to come out with another video, um, explaining dish scrubbies, because I feel like those deserve a separate video. I'm going to compare Red Heart scrubby yarn with other scrubby yarns. I don't know, is there something else other than, like, does Karen have their own scrubby, or, I'm not really sure. I'm sure, like, you know how all the yarn brands they try to make, they come out with their own that's like similar to everyone else, but it's like, you know, like the cakes, for an example. When the cakes came out, Karen cakes, there were like, what, the sweet rolls, um, Joanne Fabrics had their own version, and like everyone was coming out with their own version of cakes, and then there were cupcakes and like little ones and things like that. So with the scrubby yarn, I'm going to make a separate video um, just explaining which one I prefer working with and what I recommend for beginners. I will say this, if you are a beginner crocheter or even a knitter, cause I don't knit so I'm not really familiar, but I've tried it before and it was actually harder in my opinion than crocheting. But if you are a beginner in yarn craft, do not use scrubby yarn. Use something else first until you're familiar <clears throat> with how the stitches work because I picked out a bunch of scrubby yarn when I was first starting off and you can't see the stitches like you can't see what you're doing in the stitches um, even if they're just single crochets like you cannot see what you're doing because the cotton or here's actually I think this was I'm not sure if this was front porch or area because that was the other colors area but this is like a rainbow scrubby yarn and this was one of these packagings um, but this stuff is, like, if you've never seen scrubby yarn before, it's got these, like, little frillies on it. Um, and there's some baby yarn that's like that, too. But this stuff is very hard to work with, unless it, it's almost like muscle memory. Um, 
I think I'm pretty good at using it now just because I've I've been crocheting for a while and I've I've used this multiple times. I made a washcloth with it and the washcloth um, I was told for whoever I made it for they they told me that it was really exfoliating and it was like awesome. So apparently the stuff, especially the Yarnby brand, I think the Yarnby brand of Scrubby is way softer than the Red Heart Scrubby yarn. Um, the Red Heart Scrubby yarn is longer, like the little pricklies on it are longer and just more obnoxious in my opinion. Whereas these are just, it's just softer, you know what I mean? So I'm going to make a separate video comparing those two. I might actually show you a tutorial of how to make your own. Um, I have a bunch of ideas with that, so just stay tuned for that. Turn on that notification bell and subscribe to my channel, and you will know when I come out with that. Basically all the yarn that I got, except for just your basic everyday acrylic yarn. So I got two, I got this in two shades because I'm actually making a U of M blanket for someone. So I got navy blue and a yellow, but um, this is five bucks a skein, so it's really similar to your Red Heart Super Saver, but as the scrubby yarn goes, this is softer as well. Um, Red Heart just needs to step it up a notch. That's just my opinion. <laughs> um, if you like using Red Heart, good for you. I know they have awesome different styles, like the Red Heart Soft, that's probably my favorite. Um, they have good prices and all that good stuff, but this stuff in my opinion is just more softer for your average 100% acrylic yarn. Um, $4.99 a skein. Um, and this is called, I'm pretty sure this is just called I Love This Yarn. So I don't know, I don't think this is Yarnby. And I don't think that this stuff is Yarnby either. Because I think these are, you know, because it's like that, that shiny stuff. I think these are like similar to each other. Um, but yeah, so I picked up a navy blue and a yellow in this. And um, that's all the yarn that I got. Okay, so now that we are near toward the end of the video... I have something really exciting to show you. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Darling Paper Rate, but this is such a cute company that just kind of started off. If you guys follow Holly Casto on YouTube, she has an awesome YouTube channel. I started um, watching her and subscribing to her when she was younger and she was making her um, like Etsy tutorials and then she started her own stationery business and it's called Darling Papery and so I was looking through um, I've been following her and her journey and her life for quite a while now so I'm kind of familiar with like what she's been up to I don't know if that sounds creepy but I just it's people like her on YouTube and people who start their own companies that motivate other people like me who have like what 10 subscribers <laughs> and like no life People like me, she motivates me to just keep going, in my opinion. So um, I decided to order one of her custom stamps, and it was it was pretty pricey, but it should be. It should be. It, you know, it's like when you crochet something and it's pricey. It, that's just what it should be. The time, the quality, like all that good stuff. So I haven't even opened this yet. My last video um, was just me at my cabin, at the, you know, or not my cabin, but a cabin still. And this actually came in the day right when I left to go out of town. And I wasn't back in town for like two weeks. So this was sitting at home that whole time. And it was irritating me because I really just wanted to see what it looked like. So now I can open it. I'm actually going to open it in front of you guys. So I haven't opened this yet. But I'm really excited to see what it looks like. Because I think she may have done a good packaging job. So it's kind of like a Darling Papery review and then just an unpackaging. So here we go. Oh, I need scissors. But good thing I have my, um, in my crochet bag, I have a pair of scissors. And if you want to see a video of what I keep in my crochet bag, it's a mess right now, I made a video about, what, eight crochet, eight essentials to have in your crochet bag or something like that. I'll link that in the description below. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Ah, okay. Okay, wait, I have to show you this. So as you could see, she has that, like, her, like, her thank you card. Oh my god, she signed it herself. How cute. So this is kind of her, I don't know what you would call this. Just like a welcome card or whatever. So this just says, you know, darling, papery, and gifts. 
darlingpapery.com and then her at handle as well down there. So this is really cute. I like the cursive um, lettering that she uses. And then on the back here, that's Holly. You guys should go subscribe to her YouTube channel. I just, I love promoting people like her and their business because I know that they try so hard at it. Me just doing like yarn stuff is just hard just to make it, let alone market it and everything. So good for her. We have a little picture of her on the back here and she just signed it. She, th she says, thanks Jessica XOXO Holly. So she signed the back of it here and I'm going to keep this forever. So I just think that's really cool. Um, if you sell on Etsy and you are not making thank you cards, this isn't Etsy, but if you do sell on Etsy or other places like that and you don't write out your own thank you cards, it's just a nice touch to do. And I'm going to try to find, she actually made a video about that, like um, what she thinks you should you know, do to improve your Etsy shop. I'll post some of those links below. Some of the things that have helped me um, with my Etsy shop, even though I only have four sales, but, and I'm actually, I'm... I'll explain this in a future video, but I'm thinking about shying away from Etsy for a while, and I'm going to explain that why later. She's got this cute tissue paper in here, <clears throat> and this really cute sticker. So it says, hello darling, and I think she's actually selling, I think she's selling this tape on her website. She has a lot of things that say hello darling on it, so I don't know, you know, if, we'll see. So here's my stamp. Oh my god, it's in a little bag. How cute is that? She really goes above and beyond with like her packaging and stuff. This is so cute. These bags, I'm pretty sure these drawstring bags, she's selling these on her website. Um, I know she sells like tags and stuff like that. I may order those from her actually if I have, you know, products to sell in person. Okay, so now I have a little bag for my stamp. That's really cool. Um, so, okay, I ordered one with a handle on it just because, I, I don't know, it was a little bit nicer in my opinion. So I can't show you what it says, like, right here because the handle's in the way. But it just says, handmade, um, shoot, I think it says handmade with care. It's kind of covered there, but I'm pretty sure I just did handmade with care by the North Stitch. They spelled it right and everything. It's really cute, good quality, and it has a crochet hook right under where it says handmade. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, so now, like, I can do what she does, you know, with her bag. She stamps them, or I don't know how she puts this on there. It could be a stamp, but I can do that kind of stuff now. So, in my opinion, just having your own stamp with your name on it is just, um, it's a good step up you know, for your company, small business, whatever it is you're doing, your little DIY stuff. Um, yeah, with my tags now, I can just, like, stamp it and ship it, you know? Like, that's really cool. Um, but yeah, as far as this, like, review goes, everything is really adorable. Like, it's just really cute. The paper she used, the tape she uses, um, the bags the thank you card, the product itself, like, this is pretty lightweight, um, it's, you know, this is wood, and this, this doesn't look like it's gonna fall off or anything, so, and even if the handle does fall off, um, it's not gonna matter, it's not gonna break the stamp, you know what I mean, and then I'll just be able to read it, but you can actually order this on her website if you just want, um, just the square, or if you want a handle to go with it, you can do that too, so, Okay guys, so that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you and shout out to Darling Papery. Um, such a cute company. I'm really impressed with everything. Um, the Yarn Bee yarn that I got was really cool. I definitely recommend if you don't have a Hobby Lobby near you, it might be worth the trip to just go and see the yarn and just um, stock up on a bunch of Yarn Bee whenever you get the chance. That's it for this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Um, like this video if you like seeing videos like this. Um, package openings and yarn hauls and all that good stuff. I love doing this stuff. Um, crocheting is one of the best things that's ever happened to me. I will probably make another video pretty soon here. Just of, you know, I might make a vlog because I start school soon. So I'll, I'll be going to like a trip. I actually, go subscribe to my sister's channel, her name is Melissa Savino, I shouted her out in my last video as well, but I will be visiting her 
so it's Monday. I'll be visiting her on Saturday and Sunday. We're going to be driving down my family and we're going to see her. I will see you guys in my next video.